I, I call Claire Curran. Yeah. Mr call. Speaker, thank you. Um, can I say Happy New Year to everybody in the House and can I make a special mention of uh, Nikki Kay and welcome back to Parliament. Mr Speaker, last Wednesday was an important day. It was an important day because it was the day that Labor announced uh, that the regions matter and that Labor will invest to create jobs in our regions. It was the first announcement in a series of regional announcements to unlock potential and create jobs. It was an announcement in Dunedin and it was an announcement uh, on the centre on the, uh, that a centre of digital excellence will be created, which will build on Dunedin's strengths as a centre of knowledge, innovation and expertise in the new economy. It's a significant signal to regional New Zealand and it's one of many. Wednesday was also special because it was the day that the election was announced, the 23rd of September. It's now 228 days until the election and Labor is ready. We welcome that announcement because we are ready and we're raring to go. Wednesday was also a, a special day because it was the day, the evening, that Andrew Little turned up to speak at a public meeting in Dunedin that night and the place was packed. It was packed to overflowing. So much so that the ODT, the Otago Daily Times, um, rushed the photographer down to the meeting because, as they said, they had never in years seen a meeting that big um, and certainly um, uh, not since probably the 1980s. And here's a picture on the front page of that, um, that packed to overflowing me uh, meeting. And I note, uh, Mr Speaker, that when Bill English spoke earlier today, he said that he was, um, he was unlikely to be able to fill a hall of 500. Well, I'll tell you what, Andrew Little did, and he will continue to do so around New Zealand because people want to hear what Labor has to say. Mr Speaker, this election will be fought on the issues of housing, health and education. And in, in his State of the Nation speech last week, Bill English ignored the housing crisis, he ignored the rising cost of education, and he ignored the underfunding of the creaking health system. Instead, all he did was announce a skinny version of Labor's policy for a thousand more sworn police, uh, announcing 880 more police. And he's ignoring, he also is ignoring the regions, or he's conning them. In the announcement around UFB2, which I note that the members seem to be trumpeting, um, the, uh, it sounds good, but most of those towns will not get uh, better broadband for six or seven years. And in the internet terms, that is a lifetime. And this isn't just homes, Mr Speaker, this is businesses. Uh, so that is a big con. Um, Mr Speaker, talking about the, um, the neglect of regional New Zealand, the government, this government hardly knows that, uh, that Dunedin exists. The rebuild of Dunedin Hospital has been on ice for years. The government has slashed 56 jobs at the Invermay Ag Research Centre. Many of them are highly educated positions at the forefront of agricultural research and development. Um, and uh, good, stable, well-paid government jobs uh, at government agencies have shifted north under this government's policy of centralisation. Housing is a major issue in Dunedin. Not the same sorts of issues that are in, in Auckland, but housing affordability and the availability of affordable rental housing for, uh, for people who just can't get it. And I've got a case at the moment, Jacinda and Jamie, who ha with their three children, one in a wheelchair, who have been forced out of their house, their, ha their leases expired. 15 houses they tried to rent, couldn't rent, um, unavailable, couldn't afford it, are now living in a caravan park. Can't get on the uh, Housing New Zealand list until they're homeless. Well, they are now homeless, and this is just one of many. There is a housing crisis, there is an education crisis, there is a huge hole in our health funding. This government is ignoring all of those threes. That where is where this election will be fought.